This is the Power Plus charging unit from Buddy Pole, and we're going to look at this today. Okay, okay, okay. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Ham Radio 2.0, live from the Ham Shack. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. If this is your first time to join us, please click on the subscribe button below so that I can get my subscriber count up. Oh, and so you can keep up all the videos I post also. A uh, little bit of both. You never know. So, okay, so new from Buddy Pole. I say new. He's had this out for maybe a year something like that i picked this up at hamcom this is actually an updated version i did a pow i did a um a video at winter field day in january of 2019 uh about the solar controller that he's got um uh, buddy pole that, that buddy pole has and this video here all right so this is kind of this is kind of its big brother but it's it's really a different unit because this is not a solar controller the power plus is not a solar controller what it is is a um it's a battery charger is what it is it'll uh do a battery it's a distribution block so as you can see this is uh four ports on top for power pole connections two usb charging ports and that's a dcn for your power supply so this is this is uh charge uh or this is a power supply distribution block unlike the other one that's a that's a charge controller but it has a battery in also so you can do battery backup so basically what this does is you plug this into your power supply and you plug in a battery backup and then you have both options available to you so where you can run all your you run four radios you can even plug in a rig runner on top of one of these uh uh power pole connections on the top here so then you plug in all your radios and run it from one, everything from one power supply and then have a battery backup so the light goes out in your shack. You've got um, battery power. You're running on battery power after that. So uh, I'm going to set this up. I'm going to put it um, underneath the desk back here. Hopefully find some way to mount it on the wall. don't really have a way to, to mount it on. Oh, let me show you guys the side here because this is a little bit different looking. So the... The DCN right here is uh, red and black, and the battery in is blue and black. Not that that really makes any difference, but just kind of like so you can keep them straight. Uh, but there's no way to really mount this thing. That's about the only thing I don't like about it. There's no way to really mount it. It's just made to sit on a desk or something. So I'm probably going to get like some, I don't know, L brackets or something, and put it underneath it, and then mount it underneath my desk back here on the wall underneath my desk right under here which is where i have my rig runner if you watch my ham shack update video you saw my rig runner with my battery under there uh so i'm going to take my battery and plug it in here and do a um permanent setup down there this is going to be used in the shack full time at the time i've been waiting to set it up to, to record this video so let's take a look at this okay before i mount this thing to the wall i plugged it into my battery uh, right here with the battery backup, which uh, looks like those connections might need some work too. Now, this is obviously the power. Now it's not; it's, it doesn't have any DC, and the reason it's beeping right now, and you hear the uh, that's what's the alarm is because it doesn't have actual DC in. It's just on battery backup, so it it alerts you to say, "Hey, by the way, your power's off. You're on battery backup," because the battery's not going to last forever if it doesn't get a charge. So you can go down here, and that's your, that's your load on each side. This is the A, A1 and A2, and the B1 and B2 is over here, like that. And then I can go, limits are there. Output of A is 30 amp max. Output of B is 10 amp max. Okay, so you're going to put your smaller stuff on output B on the right side. And then power source is auto. And there's the alarm enable. So I can go in here. I can turn my alarm off. 
Now you can't hear it. Now, I don't know if you guys were hearing it before, but it was making a very light beep. Um, and again, it does that because it's, it's letting you know that it'll, your power's off. So I'm just going to leave that on. But then the most important part, I think, is it comes up as a um, lithium iron phosphate battery. So we're going to change that. And the only two options are PB, which is the atomic symbol for lead, and LIFE. Well, lead acid battery is actually what I have connected here right now. So, and now you notice that the status is still red, but the alarm has stopped. It stopped flashing. So probably... Now, I couldn't really go into the menu before that because, well, I mean, if I plugged in my DCN right here, I could go into the menu and set all that. And as soon as I unplug battery power, all of that menu is going to reset. But I wanted to go ahead and get a close-up of it right here on the, uh, on the, on the, on the desk camera, on the, this camera right here, so that I could, you know, talk, talk about it more that way. So now I'm going to actually go put it on the wall. We're going to plug up a power supply and uh, this battery, same battery to it, and uh, show you how it, how it looks after that. Uh, I got this installed the other day, and you can see kind of, I uh, can't see my hand right there, but right there, that is, actually, let me turn the, uh, hold on one second. I'll, the screen right there goes dark after a few minutes to save battery life, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let me click the center button to light the screen up again so well, there we go uh so you see that the um the two the two plugs on the side of the power plus unit which is what i showed you a moment ago the one on the top is the power supply i've got that running in currently right now to a um 20 amp Astron power supplies. It's one that I picked up way back when. Um, 20 amps is not going to be enough for what I need in the long run, but for now, I just put it down there. For It's enough to power the, um, the flex radio, which is what's on it right now. Um, and then the, the plug at the top of the left side is the... Um, I'm sorry, the top of the left side is the power supply. I think that's what I said. The, on the left side of the unit right there... Where is this? Right here. This unit right here. On that, left, on that left side over there. That way. The top plug is your power supply. The bottom plug is the battery backup. So should the power in this shack fail, the battery backup will kick in and it will keep everything that's plugged into the top of the unit on. So the, the two plugs on the top of the unit on this side are... Um, lower amperage than the ones over here on that side. You can't see them. I'm, I'm off the screen now. But the two, uh, so the two, the two plugs on the top left of the unit are uh, rated at a higher amperage. They're called A1 and A2. And then the two plugs at the top right of the unit are called B1 and B2, and they're rated at a lower amperage than what um, the other two are. So the, the, the unit total is a 40 amp unit. It can, it can supply 40 amps of power at one time. Um, and, and of course, there's two USB uh, connections in the unit right in the center uh, above the screen, above that uh, digital readout screen. So that is the, power plus, the Buddy Pull Power Plus unit actually in action. Okay, good. So that is the Buddy Pull Power Plus power distribution unit. Um, 40 amps, which is plenty for what I need in the shack. Um, but uh, the good, bad, and the ugly about it, um, the good part is, man, it's plenty of power. It, it makes it easy to, to set up to use um, both a regular power source and a battery backup. Um, or I guess you could use, you know, two battery backups. But um, uh, the, the power source at the top left will charge the battery that's plugged into the bottom left. So you wouldn't want to use a battery to charge itself, but you know that is that is what that is. But um, what I don't like about it is I don't like the fact that uh, there's really no way to mount it. There's not a um, 
There's no brackets on the back to hang it on the wall. There's no screw holes to screw it in to, to, to mounted screws that you hang on the wall somewhere. Um, if you look back here, you'll see that my, this, um, where it's, where it's, it's, I just kind of got it sitting on top of that power strip. And then right there where that line is of power that comes into the top of the buddy pole of the power plus unit, uh, there's a piece of tape where I have that line taped to the wall. So that's how it's sitting upright right now. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, you know. It is what it is, I guess. But uh, but yeah, it's not really meant for the way I'm using it to be put into the shack and used permanently. It's more meant to be used in the field where you're going to be moving around a bunch and you just sit it down on top of something. But I'd like to see if they were to make like a bracket or something that I could... Uh, even if the bracket doesn't come with it, if, if there was some sort of mounting bracket where I could more easily mount it and use it on a permanent basis, I'd like to see that. Um, but I'll use it this the way it is now because I think it's a great unit. So 73 guys, tell me if any tell me in the comments below who's using this. Uh, what kind of power distribution block are you using? Something that is uh, bringing in power from a power supply or maybe your AC um, AC to DC power supply in your shack and then and then also letting you connect a battery back up to it. If anybody's got anything like that, I'd love to hear about it. Put a comment below and we'll see you guys next time.